We got another trade in hour one of the 2023 NFL draft. The Lions shipping the sixth overall pick along with number 81 to the Cardinals in exchange for numbers 12, 34, and 168. And with the sixth pick, tackle number one officially off the board. The Cardinals select Ohio State tackle Paris Johnson Jr. at 6'6", 313. The long athletic tackle is said to be still filling out his frame. Scary, a consensus All-American a year ago and now heading to the Valley. Ryan Wilson, Brian McFadden in studio to react. Uh, fantastic stuff here out of Arizona early on in this draft, Ryan. You move off of number three, nothing there for you anyway. You take Johnson here uh, with the sixth overall pick, sort of pulling all the right strings right now as the Cardinals front office. It feels like a completely different organization than no a year question. ago with Steve Kime and mm -hmm. Cliff Kingsbury. And I had heard for a while that they wanted to get out of number three and they were hoping there would be some shucking and jiving, as it were, for teams moving up trying to get a quarterback or whatever happened to be the case. Mm -hmm. Turns out to be Will Anderson, which I'm sure a lot of people didn't see coming. Here's the thing about Paris Johnson Jr., incredibly athletic. You talked about the ability to grow into that frame, Joe, but he played right guard in 2021, played left tackle in 2022. Yeah. Rick Spielman and I were at his pro day, and Rick called it one of the best workouts he's ever seen from an offensive lineman, and Rick's been in the league for over 30 years. Yeah. The athleticism popped, uh, the heavy hands popped, mm -hmm. and those are the things you want to see when you're trying to protect Kyler Murray when he gets back to full health. Uh, alternatively, his teammate Dewan Jones, who has first round potential, did not work out of that pro day, and we'll see where his future lies. Mm -hmm. But for uh, Paris Johnson Jr., he said, I'm here, I'm working out, and I'm showing you what I can do. For our viewers that probably haven't really watched Paris Johnson Jr. perform, mm -hmm. he reminds me of Laramie Tunzel. Mm. And he's the guy, outside of making a lot of money, He's been one of the more consistent <laughs> tackles in the game. And he's flourished and be, he's become one of those mainstay. When you talk about the definition of a quality sound left tackle, you start with Laramie Tunzel. And I think Paris Johnson has that same ceiling. In three years at Ohio State, only surrendered three sacks. You talked about the versatility, Ryan, being inside and, of course, moving to the outside, not missing the beat, and extremely athletic. And he's physical. He plays with the mean streak. So I love what the Cardinals are doing right now because you talk about being at three. Clearly, they wanted to move out of three. Moving out of three, moving down three spots, still getting going to get the best left tackle in the game, a guy who will be a day one starter for your franchise quarterback when he's healthy and Kyler Murray. I like what they're doing so far. Let's see exactly how they continue this hot streak throughout the weekend of the draft. Yeah, cornerstone piece there at number six for Arizona. We do need a grade from Pete Prisco. Pete, it's a great piece. It's a foundational piece. It's a protection piece. What do you give? Yeah, I give it a B. I, I like what the Cardinals have done. They maneuvered to get a guy they probably would have considered taking at number three. Remember, Kyler Murray pushed for this pick. I just wonder where he's going to play. They have D.J. Humphreys at left tackle. He played well last year. I think that's one of those situations where you might play this kid at guard for a year or two until he takes over at left tackle or maybe even on the right side. So I give it a B. All right, it's a B from Pete. Arizona pulling all the strings right now, and it's Parrish Johnson at six. And Oh, they got a first in their pocket for next year via that trade from 3 to 12 and back up to 6. Here's a look at the highest drafted offensive lineman by the Cardinals. This, the third highest in the history of the franchise. Paris Johnson Jr., nothing junior about him, tasked with keeping Kyler Murray upright.